Okay, on to one of my favorite kinds of hierarchies. In fact, probably one of my favorite structures in, in all of XML land, and that's the idea of a recursive hierarchy. So first, the term recursive. Um, you'll see a picture on your screen here that's a Drost ad from who knows when, a long time ago. And what's cool about that picture is that the ad itself, the picture is inside the picture. And you can see that actually also on the Land O'Lakes butter, um, <laughs> the Land O'Lakes butter container, right? The little picture of the, of the, the Indian woman holding a what? holding the box that has a little picture of the Indian woman on there. That's a visual representation of recursion. The idea of recursion is that you have the item itself inside itself. And of course, um, uh, another example of that is mirrors. You hold a mirror in front of you and a mirror behind you, and you can see what seems to be an infinite, um, an infinite progress or an infinite recession of, um, of images of yourself, one inside the other. So there's an image of you inside the image of you inside the image of you. That's the idea of recursion. That's how it is um, sort of from a theoretical or from a definitional standpoint. But what it means to us is having an element literally inside itself. So it seems strange, but it's actually very simple to do. You just create an element, you make it global, and then as one of its children, you use that element. So in our example here, we have sections. And let's take a look quickly at the... Um, at the definition inside the schema of this recursive hierarchy, we have something called a recursive section. And that recursive section, you'll notice by the little iconography here, is global. So the recursive section has an ID, it has a title and a body, and then as a child, it has a recursive section. And notice the cardinality on the child, zero to infinity. That allows us to have a child, allows us to have a section with no children, or a section with any number of children that we want it to have. Very, very simple schema, agree? Right, only one, two, three, four elements. No, three elements, sorry. One that's global and repeated. And that those three elements comprise an infinite variety of having sections inside of sections. And so these recursive sections are allowed to appear inside themselves all the way down to however many levels you want. Notice in the explicit hierarchy that if we wanted another section, we'd have to add extra tags to our schema. But in this case, we just add, we just have these tags and they suffice to go all the way down however many levels we want. Looking at the, uh, at the instance that goes with this schema, you'll see that the recursive, uh, the recursive structure is one where we have a recursive section inside a recursive section inside a recursive section inside a recursive section. The first, recur in, uh, the first recursive section is actually the whole book. Right? information structure, and it has a body. The second recursive section is access structures. In our explicit hierarchy, that was the part, but there's no need to call it a part here. If you want to call it a part, you'll just say that any second level um, recursive section, that is a recursive section inside one recursive section, is going to be called a part. So notice we don't even have to name it at this point a part, and if we want to change our mind that it's not a part, instead it's a you know, it's, a, I don't know, a, a major division of the book or something like that. We can change that because nothing in here explicitly says it's a part. Whereas in the other schema, if we wanted to call it a major division, well, we'd probably be renaming it in our schema and changing our entire instance. So this is really flexible. Very simple schema, very flexible, very flexible um, system for creating any kind of hierarchy. It doesn't have to be book sections, any kind of hierarchy you want. And the key to it is that the section is inside of itself. So let's see if there's anything else I want to tell you about this. You can see that it's the same hierarchy that's represented in the explicit hierarchy. We've just done it a different way. So that's a point to be made about all these hierarchies is that they're all just different methods of accomplishing the same thing, which is modeling a hierarchy. What we're trying to do is find different ways of modeling the same concept. The concept is a hierarchy, parents and children. One way is to do it explicitly, just leveraging the hierarchy that's intrinsic inside of XML. Now we're going to get into some ways that are a little slicker, a little bit more sophisticated, but they're more subtle. And this kind of brings us to maybe what's a, a kind of a, a major truism of modeling, which is the more sophisticated and subtle the model is, the harder it is to understand it when you see it in action. So I think you'll agree that this instance here is a little bit harder to read than the one that just said part, chapter, heading one, heading two. Very straightforward, very simple. The tag is what you see is what you get. Here, we just see the same tag, recursive section, over and over again. You have to notice that it's embedded inside of its parent to even understand where you are in the hierarchy. 
So this is, this is much more difficult, it's much more flexible, it's much more sophisticated, it's much more subtle, cooler if you ask me, but it does come with a cost. And the cost is that it's harder to understand, it's harder to imp um, and when you read the schema, or when you read the instance, you can be baffled by exactly where you are in that instance. Uh, let's see what else I want to say. Um, this one, this, this hierarchy that I showed you um, is an any recursive hierarchy because the sections that are, uh, that are organized by the hierarchy, the hierarchy is inside them. The hierarchy is not some other place pointing back into, this, into these sections. The hierarchy is in the section tags itself. If I took away the hierarchy, I'd be destroying the book. So that's the test we've had for any versus Audi. If I take away the access structure, does it destroy the content that's organized? Does it bother the content that's organized? And in this case, if I took away the hierarchy, I would be taking away the content that's organized. So it's obviously an any.